Okay, I'd like to show you how to work the previous example using your graphing calculator. You remember in the previous example we had this frequency distribution here and the problem was to calculate the mean. Now the shortcut method that we used would certainly be a lot easier than adding up 452's, 653's and so on and then dividing by 30. Even still though it's easier to use your calculator. So I want to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so first we're going to need to enter our data set. Okay, you remember to enter a data set on the TI-83. We need to press the stat button. Okay, and then select edit. Press enter right here. Okay, I have my data set here for the example that we did in the previous section. I need to clear that out. So I'll arrow up to L1. Press clear, enter. Okay, now I need to enter my data values in column L1. So that'll just be the numbers 52, 53, up to 57. So I'll do that here real quick. 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. Okay, and then I'm going to arrow over to L2. And in L2, I'm going to enter the frequencies. Those frequencies are 4, 6, 3, 8, 4, and 5. Okay, now go back to STAT. And we arrow over to calc. Okay, and right here on the top line is the function we want, one variable stats. Okay, so press enter. And on this screen, you have to tell the calculator that it's going to find the data set in L1 and L2. If you don't tell it anything, it's going to assume that you just have your data in L1. Okay, so you need to enter L1, L2 in this way. Where is your L1 and L2 on your calculator? We have to look down here above the number 1. You see L1 here in, in uh, yellow. And then above the 2, you see L2 in yellow. So that means to get L1 and L2, we need to go second, one, and second, two. We're gonna separate those with a comma. Okay, 
And so your screen should look like this now. Then press enter. Okay, and you get a bunch of numbers here. And notice that the top number here says X bar, and that's what we're interested in. So our mean for this data set, 54.56, rounded off would be 54.6, and that's exactly the value that we got in calculating this by hand, isn't it?